Hello, hello and welcome to my backyard. I'm Lisa and I'm here to give you one more quick instructional on a skill all of us can use now that paper towels are suddenly scarce. How to make rags. You can see this shirt here. Can you see those holes? It's at the end of its working life as a shirt, but I can certainly use it for rags. I'm just going to cut off the trim and then cut it up into bits. Now I can use this for cleaning and I've put up an extra rack in my laundry room um, to put wet cleaning rags, um, damp tea towels, anything that might get wet, even wet socks on a rainy day, before I wash them. If you don't have your own laundry room, you can dedicate a towel rack in the bathroom to this sort of thing. Um, you're going to want to handle it with care um, if it might contain anything that's contaminated with virus. So, use gloves when handling these kinds of things uh, if you think it might have a virus contamination or if you just want to let your disposable cloths um, do those kinds of essential chores while you're doing routine cleaning with something that's reusable, this works pretty well. Now what you want ideally for a cleaning rag is 100% cotton. If you have an old worn out flannel shirt, those are ideal. Cotton t-shirts can work too, they're not quite as good. I'm setting aside this trim. Now I'm cutting along the shoulder seam. Usually when you follow the seams, you can get the most working cloth out of this. And this is just a medium sized women's shirt. I can get a good number of cleaning rags from this, but for this demo, since you'll get the idea fairly quickly, I'm going to go down this seam here. Setting aside the rest of it, I'm going to cut off the bottom seam of this shirt. And then cut away the side seam where the front and back panels met. Now you can throw away the, the side seams if you want. But if you're feeling like being thrifty, you can actually save this stuff because if you decide to grow oyster mushrooms, which are a nice gourmet mushroom you can grow at home, um, oyster mushrooms just love cotton. You can also put in um, old newspaper and spent coffee grounds, save all of that, order yourself some oyster mushroom spawn and with a bit of you'll need a big pot to simmer it all in to to sanitize it before you seed your spawn in it you can grow yourself some nice indoor mushrooms and you don't need a whole lot of light now I've just made floor cleaning rags out of one quarter of this, so I'll get about 16, maybe even 20 when I work in the seams. I think you get the point at this point, so I'll just cut up the rest of this um, t-shirt myself. Thank you for watching.